I have a confession to make. I have not been a very good denim head in recent years. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm extremely excited because I'm going to be reviewing the Hiroshi Kato brand denim jacket, otherwise known as the Blade, in 14 ounce four-way stretch selvage denim. That is right, and I'm going to be comparing this Kato brand denim jacket to a couple other denim jackets, much more affordable denim jackets that I've had in my rotation for years now. And I have gone through the longest time of quality denim denial. You would not believe it, but I have. <laughs> so full disclosure, full bottom line up front, this is a $358 denim jacket made in the United States of America. Like many of you, I'm sure, out there, I've always seen the value in good boots, but I, I've i always struggled with the value of quality denim. I've purchased, you know, $300 denims before, $250 denims, but I routinely uh, opt for the J. Crew stretch trousers. Typically, I wait for the, it's called the five pocket pant stretch denim to go on sale and I buy those up like crazy. I think they retail at full price for about $110, but I get them I get them on deep discount for about 35 bucks at the end of the season. That's typically how I stock my trousers in my wardrobe. Um, I do have some of the expensive denims, though the only reason why I don't typically gravitate towards them is frankly, the stretch stuff is just so much more comfortable and I'm getting old, I have a bad back. I don't appreciate that constant tug on my lumbar region as I walk. I know the sizing is right, it's just a matter of, do I wanna fight with this denim all day while I'm wearing it? You know, as good as it looks and as amazing as it is and as high quality as it is, I oftentimes wake up and I ask myself, am I ready for that denim battle today? And typically, I lose that battle. Typically, I just grab my J. Crew 484 stretch denims, my dyed denim from J. Crew. It's a cop out for sure, um, especially when we're when I'm dealing with high end products like, you know, very high end boots, very good quality leathers, uh, very good quality everything. I believe in quality, but I've just never fully committed to the denim cause until today. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but let me kind of take you through my journey over the years. So, my very first denim jacket is this one here. This is from J. Crew. So this is a medium wash denim jacket from J. Crew. I believe I bought this in about in around the 2015 time range. I think it was about $150, maybe $200 full retail. I think I got it for about 80 bucks on sale. It's another reason why I always shop at J. Crew. It's like I'm getting premium stuff and you know they're trying to sell it at premium prices but inevitably that end of the season comes and guess what? They're a major retailer. They need to clear out old stock and make room for the new stuff. So they don't have any choice. They have to put this stuff on sale. And they often do, you know, uh, they take a pretty big loss on it. I'm not saying they're not making money, but I am saying they're taking a loss. This, I believe this is made of Japanese Kaihara denim, which is very high quality denim. It's very soft, very soft from the get go. It fits me perfectly. This is a size small. Full disclosure, I'm typically a size 36 in suit jackets. I wear size small t-shirts and this size small jacket has always fit me phenomenally. This was my only denim jacket for the longest time until until I happened into Target one day. That's right, Target. <laughs> what it was was I saw a review on dappered.com. I used to subscribe to them. They wrote up an article on Target's Goodfellow and Company Selvage Denim. Target was running Selvage Denim for a while. They got on the denim train. They're Goodfellow & Co. I assume they were trying to pay homage to the Heritage line and, and uh, appeal to guys like me who are into Heritage workwear and such. So I bought some of that denim. It was 40 bucks for Selvage Denim, raw Selvage Denim. And I thought there has to be a catch. And I forget what the article said exactly, but basically went into details about how, you know, it's mostly a good deal, blah, blah, blah. I don't I don't remember exactly what, what was said. Uh, I just go onto Target's website and you just type selvage and you see if they have any selvage stuff. Sure enough, they had this denim jacket, this raw denim selvage jacket for $50. Can you believe it? 50, five, zero. I couldn't believe it. I ordered it, I got it, and I loved it. It's It's been my go-to denim jacket for many years now. It's real raw denim. 
There's real selvage stitching on the inside. You can see on the coat hanger loop here, it is selvage, it's authentic selvage. In addition to that, you can see on the back, the adjustment straps on the back are also selvage. It's also fully lined with selvage stitching on the inside. And so it's legit, it's real selvage, it's real raw denim. Now, I thought for the longest time because of that, that I could never justify a $300 denim jacket purchase like from a real heritage brand like Kato. But then I saw this one online and I was super duper in love with it. I was in love with the aesthetics. I was in love with the slim fit of it, the silhouette, not to mention the style of it. It was just different enough from this one to where I said, okay, this is gonna be a different jacket altogether. I can justify that. And boy, am I happy. But before I go over the full comparison, let me go over the specs from the website. And so this is going to be the Hiroshi Kato The Blade Indigo Raw 14 ounce Selvage Denim. This is bold and ready to be worn. The Blade Denim Jacket is inspired by your traditional denim jacket silhouette. Our inspiration were the 1930s era denim jackets with our added twist of comfort. The Blade is a timeless piece that will pair great with our Axe Chino or Selvage Denim jeans. It's got front and side pockets, four-way stretch selvage denim, 14 ounce raw indigo. It's 96% cotton, 4% polyurethane. Made in the USA, our exclusive four-way stretch selvage denim is woven to replicate the texture and feel of vintage denim while adding stretch for more comfort. The raw denim is washed using bleaching techniques to soften up and age the fabric. Then we use hand sanding and laser print technology to replicate the distinct fades that come with years of actual wear, paying close attention to the fading of natural crease lines. So it's made in the USA, it's a slim fit, it's triple stitched along the seams, that will become relevant later. It's got a signature pocket design and action pleats. I never thought I'd find myself loving pleats, but here we are. <laughs> and so on the Cato Brands website, they go over a brief history of the denim jacket. From James Dean to Marilyn Monroe, denim jackets have been a hit for decades. Upon the creation of the denim jacket circa 1880, came an everyday easy wear utility piece originally designed for cowboys and miners during the gold rush era. You might say that the denim jacket was the first ever work jacket designed with true laborers in mind. For the traditional silhouette, with horizontal pleats for added maneuverability for the base of our inspiration. Nick, our designer, wanted to ensure we paid homage to the true denim blues, but of course our added spin on comfort and durability. We added in pockets, and this denim jacket is made using the same denim fabric we use with our jeans, premium Japanese denim. Its four-way stretch allows for the same flexibility our jeans offer while giving you the best possible fades. And so amazing. You know, a lot of guys say that they feel super cool in a leather jacket, but I always, always feel cool in a denim jacket, no matter what the outfit is, no matter what the occasion. If I'm in a denim jacket, I feel like a badass. In my leather jacket, I feel like it's kind of, you know, they're cool and they're amazing, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I feel like they're a little stuffy. I don't always feel like they're always appropriate, you know, unless it's cold outside. I really feel like the, the leather jacket is for fighting battling the elements, whereas the denim jacket could literally just be worn indoors. Uh, nobody's gonna look at you funny for wearing a denim jacket. And in my opinion, it, it is just as cool, if not cooler in some cases than a leather jacket. And quite literally, it is cooler than a leather jacket. No pun intended. And so they provided an insert with the jacket. It says, to make the color last longer, wash inside out with cold water. For a worn quick fade, wash right side out with cold water. Hang dry. No tumble dry. Remove promptly, do not iron. Yes, I agree. You can wash denim. Nick at Stridewise has punched a wonderfully gaping hole in the whole narrative that you're not supposed to wash denim. I wash my denim. Wash your damn denim. <laughs> Actually, this jacket has not been washed in about five years. In the five years I've had it, I've never washed this. So. <laughs> but if I were, it would, be, it would be on cold, hang dry for sure. Before I get to the comparison, this is a little bit about the Cato brand. So it says vintage meets comfort. Our concept is vintage meets comfort with an emphasis on unique Japanese fabrics, quality construction, vintage details, perfect fit and comfort. Our collection 
reflects our take on contemporary Americana. We strive to make garments that transcend trends that will become staples in your closet that you will enjoy wearing over and over again. Designed and made in our factory in Los Angeles, the Cato brand denim is truly one of a kind. Rolls of selvage denim are shipped from LA to the denim mill in Japan. After arriving in LA, each roll is inspected by us before hitting the production line. From start to finish, Cato has a hands-on approach, making sure each pair is perfectly shaped, each stitch intentional, and that vintage-inspired hardware is durable and set for years to come. Four-way stretch selvage. Every day someone is making the leap into breaking in their first pair of raw denim or added, adding another pair to the denim collection. Our four-way stretch selvage has the fit, look, details, and importantly comfort that will satisfy everyone from seasoned denim head to the conservative customer trying their first pair of raw jeans. Our exclusive four-way stretch selvage Japanese fabric is the perfect amount of 360 degree multi-directional movement jeans will fade like a raw denim should except they are more comfortable than any jeans you've ever tried on. And the store actually sent me a nice little handwritten note. It says, hi Dale, it's nice to meet you. Please let me know your thoughts on the blade jacket in indigo raw 14 ounce selvage. Enjoy, thank you. Michelle and the Cato team. Well, thank you, Michelle, for the personal touch. I really appreciate that. As someone who likes to know the people that make my things, to connect with them, to put a story to the garments, that means more to me than anything else, is getting to meet the masterminds behind the operation. Now for the comparison. Is this thing worth over $300 compared to the $50 that I spent on this Target one? That was full price, by the way, for this Target one. It was not on sale, that's full price. And compared to the J. Crew one, well, the J. Crew one that I paid 80 bucks for. This Target, Goodfellow and Company, $50, denim jacket is made in China and there were definitely corners cut from this jacket compared to this jacket and compared to this jacket. Yeah, so let's address the target one, the target selvage. This is not a fake. This is real raw denim. This is real selvage. I'll unbutton it. I will prove it to you from the inside. You know, this is a true button enclosure. It's got this real selvage seam all the way down from the collar to the waist. Um, it is real. It is the real deal. There's no faking it. Um, on the inside, it says premium selvage denim. Material is selvage denim made from 100% cotton. It's 14 ounces, same as the Cato brand. Notes, this fabric in this denim jacket was loomed on a narrow shuttle loom that creates a tightly woven band along the edge of the fabric known as the selvage. This unique edge prevents the material from unraveling, resulting in a high quality jacket. Keep it authentic. Fill a bathtub with cold water, turn the jacket inside out and submerge for an hour. Allow the jacket to hang dry before wearing. Because of the unwashed nature of this denim, crocking or transfer of the indigo may occur. This can be prevented by giving your jacket a pre-soak before wearing it. It even comes with instructions on the inside. The buttons are not generic, they're Goodfellow and Co. Buttons, where were the corners cut on this? Why would anybody make the argument that you should buy this one, this Cato brand blade jacket over the Goodfellow and Company Target denim jacket? Well, I'll tell you, first and foremost, this thing's been worn probably 50, maybe 70 times. Look at the fading. There's basically no fading. This thing does not fade like high quality denim does. It's been very resistant to fading. Not to mention, it is still stiff as hell. This hasn't broken in at all. And so what I'm getting at here is that you could tell by the hand feel. It's all in the hand feel. When I run my fingers across this, it's still very stiff, very cardboardy. Um, the indigo transfer, the indigo that comes off of it is sort of dull. It's not as vibrant as more expensive indigo that I've experienced. In particular, this denim jacket right here. These are these are both the same weight. This is not stretch, this is stretch, but after five years, this thing still isn't mine. It's still not fully broken in, and you can tell. It's got like a stale feel about it. It's very difficult to, to put this into words or to quantify it in any way, but you know that corners had to have been cut. With this having been made in China, this is a very well-made jacket, but corners are cut, 
and it's the unseen corners that were cut because clearly all the visible corners were not cut. We've got, once again, selvage seams all throughout. The workmanship is very good. It's all double stitched along the seams, whereas this Cato brand blade jacket is triple stitched, um, triple reinforced. To compare this to this, this jacket, th the fabric in the Cato brand denim jacket is a pleasure to touch. It smells good too. It smell, it's got like a nice warm cedary smell about it. The, the crocking that comes off of it, it comes off pretty quickly and it's vibrant. It is that vibrant glowing indigo blue color. You almost feel happy. You almost feel loved when you put this thing on. Whereas with this one, I don't get that feeling. In other words, whoever was making this jacket was trying to come as close to replicating something like this without putting the love into it. And it's that love that I can feel that transcends whether we're talking about boots or denim or any leather made item for that matter. I can feel if there was true love put into it. And in this case, I'm, I hate to say it, but Target, no, believe it or not, as a mega corporation, that the mega corporation that you are, <laughs> I definitely get the sense that you put profit before anything else in the making of this. Now, that said, I'm still happy I have this. I'm still going to wear this. I still like this garment. It's just, is it as good as this $300 one? Absolutely not. If I had to keep one out of the three, it's obviously this Cato brand denim jacket. This one, it checks all the right boxes and it should work and it should be an easy favorite and it was for many years. I, I love throwing it on. It's an easy way to look super cool without going out of my way. There are definitely corners cut and I can tell you it's the same story with my selvage denim from Target as well. I had, I still have them. They're, I use them as, as yard work pants now, but I had a pair of uh, slim stretch selvage denim that I have posted on Instagram. Those faded in a very ugly way. They, they were also looking really cheap as they would fade. I don't know what it is, maybe the indigo that they used was laced with blue dyes to sort of augment the amount of indigo that they had to invest in in order to indigo dye these garments. I'm not sure. My other pair was, it was the same thing. It was, it was a standard pair of selvage denim. They weren't stretch and they were fine, but they were not breaking in good at all. They weren't becoming mine no matter how much I wore them. And I committed to them, you know, I did. I, I wore them pretty consistently for, for months and uh, they never formed those really nice uh, honeycomb patterns, never those really nice uh, creases behind the knees. They just weren't becoming mine. And I don't know why that is. I assume that the cotton itself that they were using was of a much lower grade than the higher end stuff, but also I suspect there's some sort of funny business going on with the indigo. Kind of like when you look into the olive oil industry, you know, there's a lot of a lot of foul practices involved in, in olive oil too, you know. Once you get into any industry, there's there's people that are willing to cut corners that are unethical to cut, but because they won't be caught and they know they won't be caught, then they'll cut them and they'll save money and they'll make money. Yeah, like look at this thing, it still looks brand new. Now it's still, it's still great, and I'm not throwing it away. I'm keeping it. I, love, I like it. I like it. I'll, I won't say I love it. I'll say I like it. Now, let's talk about this J. Crew denim jacket. Now, they still sell this one. Uh, I just checked up on the website recently, and I, I believe they still sell it. Once again, this was my first denim jacket. Also a size small. Also fits me incredibly. I do love it. I I'm not really that big of a fan of medium washes, wash fades. I'm also not a big fan of light washes, even less so. I really like my denim to be dark and inky when I get it. And so for that reason, I just don't always gravitate towards this just because I don't feel like it's 100% my style. Now there's no selvage in this, so they're not, and they're not trying to say that there is. I do remember a recent J. Crew jacket that they were claiming was selvage that they were getting eaten alive in their reviews because there was absolutely no selvage stitching in that jacket. And they were charging like $300 for it. So with this one, you know, this one, they're, they're not making any claims, any false claims. Typically, for their denim garments, they do indicate what mill that the denim came from. I think this is Kaihara. I think I just removed the tag. But regardless, I'm looking at their website now. Yeah, they're basically selling something like this for $150. They have a rigid denim jacket, which is similar to this one for 148 
and then a standard looks like a medium or a light washed denim yeah medium wash denim jacket so it says we built this classic jacket with 100 percent cotton denim just like the originals worn by everyone from railroad workers to cowboys to film stars break it in make it your own and wear it with everything in your closet yeah and so it's it's a good jacket you know is it is it anything special not really it's just a great middle of the road i always trust j crew they always do a good job uh for the essentials and this this is no exception this is a uh, this is this is great it's a great denim jacket uh, i have nothing really else to say about it it's standard in every way but it's not they're not going to do anything so egregious so offensive that you're going to regret the purchase later you're getting a real denim jacket here this is real it's real denim it's really designed well fits great looks good nothing monumental about it but nothing bad to say either so very vanilla review on this one <laughs> All right, so now to this one. Now to the blade. This is really an amazing piece. Is this worth the $358? Well, I can tell you that I've spent $300 on denim before, on Momotaro's, on Japan Blue denims. And is this worth $358? Well, hell yes it is. If you'd spend that much on some denim pants and that's the level of quality that you've come to expect, then 100% this is worth it. This is by far the best denim jacket I've ever had, period. This is my new go-to. It's worth it because it's inviting. It's inviting to the touch. It's inviting because of its stretch. I really, really appreciate stretch garments now, especially as I'm getting older and my back keeps getting worse. <laughs> I need all the flexibility I get and I don't like my clothes fighting against me as I move. That's just one of the many reasons, but yes, this is very much made with love. That love translates to the end user. Whoever made this was incredibly passionate. They were very discerning in picking out every last detail, including the cotton used for the fabric, as well as doing these triple st stitches along the seams, al along the arm seams, along the back shoulder seams, along the yoke. Yeah, so it's triple stitched all along this back seam, all along these vertical back seams, triple stitched along all structural areas. In addition to that, there's a really cool sort of pleat that runs down both the left and the right side of the jacket with four decorative uh, stitches that keep the pleat sort of uh, anchored down. Probably call those anchor box stitches. So these are gonna help the pleat retain its shape over time, retain its extra cool pleatedness. I mean, what guy doesn't like pleats these days, right? Um, <laughs> it's got a single front breast pocket, which is very unique. I've never seen a denim jacket with a pocket like this. My other ones are standard. They're pretty standard chevron shaped pockets. But this one, this one's got a really cool shape. Kind of looks like the shape of my home state of Ohio. So, <laughs> very cool there. Another distinguishing feature there. Every single button says, Made in USA, Hiroshimi Kato. So they've got their own branded proprietary buttons on there. Two front pockets, which once again, denim on the inside. A joy to slide your hand in there. Very inviting. This jacket is just so inviting in so many ways. This one actually has more selvage stitching compared to the Target brand denim jacket as the selvage seam runs from the collar all the way down to the waist, but it also runs all along the collar. So you're getting a little extra selvage there. This seam on the Target denim jacket did not have selvage. It was just a standard seam, so minus 10 points for Target there. <laughs> Honestly, one area where Target does win over the Kato brand is the Target brand adjustment strap on the back. Each one of these has a selvage seam along there, whereas the Kato branded one does not. So that's just a little feature just to point out. It's definitely not a deal breaker, but Target did actually beat Kato brand in the back adjustment strap category. <laughs> the inner seam here says made in the USA jacket Hiroshi Kato. Closing thoughts, um, I am very, very impressed with this denim jacket. Everything about it 
it's my new denim jacket, period. Um, I plan to wear this thing hard for many years to come. This will be a lifetime jacket for me. I really think that uh, now that this is in my rotation, the other two aren't gonna get much use unless I'm like in a situation where, you know, I might risk getting dirty or something like that and I need a denim jacket and then I'll wear one of the other ones. But this one, I'm gonna wear hard. I'm gonna wear it faithfully. I'm gonna fade it out. I know that this one will fade quickly because I know that denim of this caliber and of this category and at this price range, it forms its fades fairly quickly. In fact, I already see the, the arm, the honeycombing along the arm starting to take shape already. That's after about three wears. And so really good quality selvage denim does show its wear a little quicker. And you know what, you want that because as in the case of my target jacket, that thing uh, still looks brand new. It looks like fresh out of the box. It has not faded at all. And I've worn it hard and I've worn it in the rain and I've worn it hiking and I've worn it, I've worn it through caves actually, Luray Caverns in, in Virginia. I took it, I remember I took it there. There was a lot of stuff I did in that jacket. I was never easy on it and you know, it just, it just is not fading. And that's not what you really want. With denim, what's really special and inviting about denim is you imprint on it, on the quality stuff, you imprint on it, it imprints on you you have a beautiful evolution together. That, that's one feature that the other two could not provide. So for $300, you're getting something very special, especially if you intend to use it for its intended purpose, which is to take it, to wear it all the time, to love it, really bring out all of its fades. When you commit to a denim garment like that, you bring out its true personality and it is a beautiful thing to watch if you do it properly. I will leave links to the Kato brand website to this exact blade jacket if you're interested. I will leave a link to that in the description below. Go check that out. My Instagram is aerosurferlv. You can go follow me there. You can track how this jacket will patina over time as I post it. I also sell kilties, insoles, cuffs, leather backpacks, as well as used boots on my website dalesleatherworks.com. Go check that out if you're interested. I am putting up more boots recently as I'm trying to, you know, thin out my collection a little bit, at least bring it down from ridiculous to manageable. So <laughs> keep an eye on that. I'll also leave a link to the Hiroshimi Kato brand Instagram in the description below. So go give them a follow as well. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. Leave me your thoughts on this incredible denim jacket. Do you think it's worth it? What do you, what do you think I missed in the comparisons? I tried to be as comprehensive as I can, but of course I could have always missed something. So please let me know for the follow-up review. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see y'all in my next video.